everybody, it's Lon Seibin, and it's time for your weekly wrap-up. It's amazing how fast these weeks go by, but we are back here again, and there are three really exciting things to talk about uh, related to the channel. The first is Monday morning at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will be interviewing Rob Manning from the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. That's a division of NASA and Caltech. And if you don't know him, uh, you know what he's done, which is uh, help to put a rover on the surface, actually multiple rovers on the surface of Mars. So he worked on Mars Pathfinder, uh, the uh, two rovers, uh, Spirit and Opportunity, and Curiosity. He was the lead engineer uh, on the Curiosity project, kind of put all the pieces together uh, to make that amazing, amazing rover land in the most spectacular way with that sky crane thing. So he's the guy that kind of led the whole thing. He has a new book out, and we're going to talk to him about the book, but also about his career, how he got to where he is, and maybe some uh, little uh, intricate stories of some of the work he's done uh, on the Mars project. So I'm really excited for that. Again, Monday at 10 a.m. Uh, Eastern time here in the United States, so look for that. On Tuesday, we're going to do our big PC build, that gaming rig that we've been talking about all week. I've got some of the equipment in already. Uh, the rest of it should all be here by Tuesday afternoon. So Tuesday, 8.30 p.m. Uh, on the channel here live. Uh, you can tune in and watch me construct this PC. And I got uh, some of the equipment already, including this thing here. Uh, this is that uh, the liquid-cooled uh, uh, CPU thing that you all uh, directed me towards. So this is the uh, H100i. So rather than a traditional uh, heat sink and fan, we're going to have a radiator here. <laughs> this is really what this thing is. Uh, and this will go uh, in the case. And this little part here uh, goes on the CPU. They even have uh, the thermal paste already attached to it. So this is a self-contained liquid cooling unit that will keep that i7 processor nice and cool as it operates. And look at the size of the fans on here too. So I may construct just some of this stuff ahead of time, just so we don't waste too much time. But uh, we'll attach this as the air intake uh, on our uh, big case that should be arriving shortly and get our uh, CPU all connected up with that. So again, Tuesday, uh, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time, right after I put the little one to bed, uh, we will get down here in the basement and start constructing our gaming rig. So that is an exciting thing. I'm looking forward to doing that, and I really appreciate all the feedback that I got from all of you on some of the parts that I should order, including that big radiator down there. So that is uh, the exciting news number two. The third piece of exciting news is that I am going to be going to CES, and I've got somebody coming with me to help with cameras and whatnot. So we're going to do a whole volume of content during that week. It's January 5th through the 9th. Uh, so just be ready because my feed hopefully uh, will fill up because I am going for volume on this one. So uh, what I would love to hear from you are suggestions of some of the booths that I should stop by, some of the brands I should connect with, and some of the products that you're interested in hearing more about so I don't make sure I don't miss anything uh, that I'm out there to uh, film for you. So uh, if there's companies you want me to interact with, definitely leave it in the comments below and we will definitely do some videos. My plan is to, again, do a lot of volume there. I get as much content uploaded as I can of things that I really find, I find interesting and things that I know you all will as well. So uh, it should be exciting. It's the first time I've ever really covered an event like this, so uh, hopefully we'll do okay. And it's hard, too, as a small channel to really compete against CNETs and other uh, larger outfits who have you know, greater budgets. I've got you know, me and a buddy and a, and a couple of cameras. Uh, so uh, hopefully we'll be able to keep up with the big guys out there and uh, produce some content that you will all find valuable. So your feedback is going to be really important of things that I should look for. Uh, you can go to the CES website, which is linked below here, so you can check out uh, some of the floor plan of where all these different companies will be located. So if you see anything interesting, uh, let me know, and I will check that out. So that is the big update for the week. A lot of cool stuff on the horizon for you to look at. I'm also finally, like really finally, ahead of the game on uh, product reviews. So I got a couple of uh, small things to take a look at, kind of a mopping up operation. I'm also going to be uh, looking at uh, doing some follow-up videos on questions I've received on some things, including the Synology NAS drives, because I have a bunch of like things on my list related to the Synology drives that are really cool that I haven't really gotten to yet. So I'm hopefully uh, going to do one today and get a few more done throughout the uh, next couple weeks as well. If you want to support the channel, you can. We're going to need the support because it's going to be expensive to go out to Vegas. Uh, you can go to lon.tv slash Patreon. That's a monthly subscription, and you can sign up there uh, and uh, just contribute to the channel on an ongoing basis. I also use those funds to offset the cost of the things that I buy to review on the channel because as a small channel a lot of brands don't send us stuff so I got to buy it review it and then resell it uh, you can also uh, leave a one-time contribution at lon.tv that's through the YouTube fan funding mechanism so you can uh, go over there and check that out and I've got this little store where I sell the stuff that I buy to review so you can go to lon.tv slash store and you can find some things on there as well that uh, were the actual items reviewed here I sell them at a discount 
Uh, so if you're looking for something gently used, gently reviewed, uh, you can find it there as well. So that will do it for this week's weekly wrap up. Lots to talk about, lots coming up in the coming weeks. And as always, uh, you are what is motivating me to keep going here. So our subscriber count just uh, keeps going. We're up, up, up you know, well past 25,000 subscribers now. And I hope to be continuing to provide content that's of value to you. So uh, please leave any comments you have in the comments below. This is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching. Thank you.